how to become a Navy SEAL? That's a great question. And it's not easy. But being that I'm not a Navy SEAL or an expert on the matter, take what I say with a grain of salt. Becoming a Navy SEAL is one of the most challenging paths that you can choose in the military. You're basically volunteering to be tortured. Like you're basically saying, hey, fuck me up. Like the immense physical training that's required, emotional, mental is on a God level status. Like you just can't kind of want it. You got to be all in, locked in, balls deep. To break it down for you, here's a step-by-step -step process on how you can make it happen. So for the basic requirements, you need to be at least 18 years old, a U.S. citizen, have your high school diploma, your GED, and score pretty well on your ASVAB. Now, all of that's the easy part. You're going to want to pass your PST or your SEALS physical screening test. And this is going to consist of a 500 yard swim, followed by 50 push ups, then 50 sit ups, 10 pull ups, and then a mile and a half run. All of this done back to back to back. And if you can do all of this in the allotted time, you can move on to enlisting in the Navy, acquiring your SEALS contract, and then boot camp, a rite of passage for all Navy sailors. Now this is gonna be an eight week basic training requirement for anybody wanting to join the military. And if you want me to dive deeper in that, go ahead and comment down below and I'll make sure to follow up in the next video. But once you've completed boot camp, you're gonna move on to more specialized training. And you're going to attend Naval Special Warfare Prep School, where the goal is to build strength, endurance, and mental toughness. And this is basically training that is meant to prepare you for BUDS, or in other words, basic underwater demolition SEAL training. And it's going to consist of 24 weeks of some of the most grueling training in the military. This is split up into three phases. Phase one, most of you have heard of it, Hell Week. And just like the title states, it is hell. Then you got phase two and phase three. And if you can make it past that, you're on to parachute jump school. You earn your basic parachute qualification. Complete all of that. And you will now be able to complete your SEAL qualification training. And successfully completing this earns you a SEAL Trident, designating you officially as a Navy SEAL. And once you've got your Trident, you'll be assigned to your SEAL team. Well, you undergo more training before you're eventually deployed. Now, all of that is easier said than done, but if you want to be successful, here's some tips you're going to want to follow. Stay physically fit, develop mental toughness, learn to work as a team, and be persistent. Only about 20 to 25% of candidates make it through SEAL training, so you need to be resilient. And of course, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below, and I'll follow up in the next video.